Eddie Loader was generally conceded to be the coming middleweight champ. He fought with the self-confidence of a well-trained man. I always knew him to be fair and decent. Eddie was just coming up at an age when most fighters have already seen the other side of the hill. He was a big draw, but he wasn't liked. The crowd came to boo Eddie, hoping to see some of the self-confidence belted out of him. But Eddie never lost. 28 fights, 25 KOs. Sooner or later, Eddie would have his crack at the championship. Oh, baby, that's you sure showed him. That showed him, Eddie, you're not even a scratch. He didn't even touch me. Was fighting like they never seen before. They gotta give you the chance. I'm ready. They got him. He's dead. What? Sonny's dead. He just keeled over in the dressing room. The kid I built from nothing. And you knocked him down so he could never get up again. You hammered him to death. Oh, what are you doing? attack on Eddie got him arrested and it came to me. My name is Frank Ballinger, Detective Lieutenant M Squad, a special detail of the Chicago Police. We got the principals together in the captain's office. You're way off base, Charlie. The autopsy report says Sonny Foss' death was unavoidable. Unavoidable? <laughs> Don't give me that. He beat him to death. It's trying to lose you. I'll read the report and I quote. The boy died of a dislodged blood clot. The beating had nothing to do with it. Which means it could have either gotten him from stepping off a curb or skipping rope and training. I don't care what that report says. I've watched Loader's face when he fights. He's got the look of a killer. To win, yeah, that's all that matters to him and Mel Harmon. How they don't care. That's a lot of nonsense. He fights clean. Yeah, that's the way I've always known him. Thanks, Frank. Mel, let's forget about it and go home. You're not gonna press charges? Well, he was out of his skull. You don't jail a man for that. What I said still goes. He should be dead. I'll die, Charlie. You just give me time. Yeah, well, right now wouldn't be soon enough. We can go now? Sure, Eddie, you can go. Thanks, Frank. You could call me a warrior if you like, Frank, but I'd stick pretty close to that situation if I were you. Yeah. But you've got to understand Andalusia, too. The boy that died was like a son to him. Yeah. Eddie Loader went about his business. A few weeks later, he signed to meet Jesse Verdugo, another middleweight contender. But some sports writers began to write about his sledgehammer punch, his killer instinct. It was unfair and it hurt, even at home where Greta, his wife, watched his misery. They think I got no feelings. I never killed anybody. I just don't hit that way. You know, people look at me now like, like I was just out of Joliet. Greta, I don't like being called killer. Then why don't we go back, Eddie? Oh, now, don't start that. Oh, all right. We were so much better off before you got into this fight game. Oh, sure, we've made a lot of money, but back in Rock Island, I liked the way it was then. I should have made you get out of this fight game a long time ago. Well, I am a fighter, and I want to crack at the title. Well, then we don't want the same things. I can't take that kind of a life, and I won't. Greta, just a couple of more fights. You know, if you hadn't have come back to me this no, time... No, Eddie, I won't help you anymore. This is the last time. Hi, boss. Boy, I'm ten minutes late getting here, and look what I find in the kitchen. What is it? Your favorite candy, Swiss mints. Greta must be getting over careless leaving them around and opened up. Sam, don't start beeping. I know I'm in training. Maybe Mel left them. He was here a while ago. Well, Pierre ain't in training. Are you, Pierre? Here you are. Fetch. 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 That's a good doggy. Uh, let them think what they want. As long as I draw the crowds, they can call me in, I think. Hey, Eddie. Small wonder. A lab examination of the candy had revealed enough poison to wipe out a regiment. 
How did this get in the apartment? Well, I don't remember buying any candy. In fact, I know I didn't. Then last night, this note was left under the door. I made Eddie show it to me. You'll get yours. That's a promise. Oh, that's plain enough, huh? Yes. Why didn't Eddie come to see him? Oh, he'd be furious if he knew I was here. He wouldn't for the world let on to anyone that he was scared. Frank, how did that candy get into the apartment? Mel Harmon didn't leave it, and, and Sam said the door was locked. He had to use his own key to let himself in. You know, Greta, sooner or later, I'm going to have to question Eddie. Yes, I, I know that. Well, don't you worry. We'll find out. I have to come to see me, Greta. Goodbye, Frank. Bye. I put some men to work digging into Eddie's past. Poison in a threatening letter didn't sound like Charlie Andalusia, but there's always the first time. I drove over to Eddie's workout gym. I needed his cooperation. Let's start off your pin down. Now, circle, keep turning. Keep going around. That's it. Keep going. Now, check. Let's take it. Put some steam in the punch, and you'll never take Verdugo. Come on, what's on your mind, anyway? There ain't nothing on my mind. I'm okay. It's not a little off his time, is it? Yeah, the mood he's in, he couldn't fight his way out of a nursery school. Maybe he's off his feet. Yeah, probably too much candy. So Greta went and told you, huh? Good thing for you, huh? We're working on it. Somebody's idea of a practical joke. Poison candy has nothing to do with practical jokes. Well, what else could it be, Frank? I've got plenty of enemies, sure, but none of them steamed enough to try to murder me. You got a short memory, huh? Oh, you mean Andalusia? He snarls, but he's got no faith. Come on, kid, better hit the showers. You can talk to him later. I told you, go, go! Keep your chin down! There, like I told you, that's it. Now, keep moving in. That's your new boy, Charlie? Yeah, of course, he's not as good as... What do you want? I just wanted to talk to you. About Eddie? He just dropped dead? No, but somebody's working on it. You know, it's the best news I've heard today. You sure it's news, huh? Yeah. Look, Frank, I'm a man of strong convictions. Two things in this world I don't forget. My mother's birthday and what Eddie did to my boy. There's something in Eddie's locker. Looks like a bomb. Come on, Eddie, let's get out. Eddie, when you come on, this thing may go off. Be quiet, will you? All right, everybody clear out of the locker room. Come on, let's move, huh? That means you too, Eddie. Eddie, I said get out of here, huh? All right, everybody clear out of the building. I sent for demolition equipment and the bomb waited. We got protective clothing on and lifted the thing out of the locker. I've been through this before, but my heart was banging. It could go off in any split second. We got it into the heavy rope cage the police department uses. A cage that would dissipate the force of flying fragments. Then came the slow trek to get the bomb into the demolition truck outside. Slow, careful walking. It was the worst five minutes I'd ever known. Did you see this demolition report? The bomb in Loader's locker was alive, all right. It wouldn't go off. It's wide wrong. I knew that. But otherwise, it was an expert job. What do you make of this, Frank? I don't know. Maybe they just want to scare Eddie. Or it could be a publicity angle. Charlie Andalusia? <laughs> That's an angle, but I had him in. He can prove that he wasn't in the locker room. One of his men, maybe. No, that doesn't fit. Ballinger. Yeah, Tommy. Are you sure, then? funny. You know, we were checking in Eddie's background. Yeah, what is it? I don't know, I just don't get it. Well, what is it? Well, his wife, Greta. Just before his last fight, she started divorce proceedings. I thought it was a good marriage. A divorce didn't make any sense. Greta was still living under his roof and acting worried about his welfare. All right, so I went to my lawyer. I don't know where you dug it up, but it's true. 
I don't see where it's any concern of yours, Frank. Of course it is. I mean, the notes, the candy, the bomb, that's all a police matter. I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. Oh, sure, sure. I thought you loved him. Is there somebody else? No, I, I, I can't stand it, Frank, seeing him after every fight, battered and bruised. I can't stand it because I love him. Oh, sure, I, I left him before Andalusia's boy died, but I came back because he needed me. But he won't quit. There's always just one more fight. Well, after this next one, I file my suit in court. Oh, it's hot in here. You'd think Eddie was a flower or something. Yeah, but you haven't filed it in court yet. And you're still here living with him. So what? We made a deal. I said I'd stay until after the Verdugo fight. Now let's drop it, huh? You know, somebody's trying to freeze Eddie with fear. That could ruin him as a fighter. He doesn't have to be a fighter. What time is the road when you see you? Uh, the we won't be long, Eddie. We're just trying to get something neat. Yeah, Make sure you clean up. Don't leave. Hey, Frank. Hi, Sam. You know, I'm never going to be able to thank you enough. Well, don't thank me. Even Eddie. if that bomb was no good, you made a big risk for me, and I'll never forget. Well, just don't thank me. Just tell me who put it there. Charlie Andalusia. Who else? So help me, it wasn't in the locker when Eddie got undressed. That's right. Why don't the police do something? Sweat it out, Andalusia. Look, we've already had him in. He's clean. Then it's one of his boys. Oh, lay off. Want to show you the new letter I got? You got another letter? They put it right under the door. I keep telling them it's just a crank. Well, it says you'll never walk out of the ring alive. Yeah, that's some crank. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, what do you say we take a look at the letter, Eddie? Uh, go fix some coffee. Come right up, Eddie. Hey, somebody break a window in here? I heard a crash. Hey, this is a bullet. Yeah, it is. I didn't hear no shot. Eddie, you were standing right here a second ago. Yeah. Hey, who opened that window? Eddie, what is it? What's the matter? Somebody just took a shot at Eddie. Don't anybody go near that window. I'll get this bullet down to ballistics. In the meantime, I'll get some people up there. I left the bullet from Eddie's apartment at the police lab. There was an off chance that it might give us a lead, and we needed one badly. We searched the buildings and rooftops opposite Eddie's window, and we got nothing. So we went after Charlie Andalusia again. I didn't forget about Andalusia. He was severely injured in a car accident last night. Yeah, where? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah, I was there for a warm-up with his new boy. Mm. Makes it look like a family affair, huh? Yeah, how do you mean? Well, somebody close to any. I wonder, could there be anything to this publicity angle? Let me check it on that. M Squad. Yeah, he's here. It's for you, the lab. Ballinger. Yeah, Nick. Are you sure? Yeah, okay, we'll handle it from this end. Right. Yeah, thanks. Well, the lab doesn't think the bullet was fired from a pistol. What? Yeah, they said the base of the bullet had scratches on it. It's made by glass, and little particles of glass, but not the tip. So, it could have been, uh, fired from a slingshot. Oh, wait a minute. You mean a slingshot sent that bullet through oh, the wait, window? Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe no. the idea is not to kill him, just to scare him. Well, that could be, too. I think I'll have a drink with Eddie's manager. See you in the morning. You're not seriously suggesting I had somebody take a shot at Eddie for publicity. It's been done before. You know, the fight's a sellout. The crowd's just waiting to see Eddie get shot down in the ring, if not before. So you think maybe it's a stunt, huh? Well, I'll tell you what this publicity stunt has done for Eddie. It's taken a fighter and turned him into a plate of jelly. You know, that's nice talk from a manager. It doesn't look so worried to me. No? All the sleep he's had this past week, you could squeeze between nothing. Call off the match, I begged him. There's nothing wrong with me if people just get off my back. Mel's right, Eddie. You're a perfect target in that ring. How can the police protect you in a stadium full of screaming people? She's got a point, Eddie. That fight's going on as scheduled. Why? Oh, now, don't start that. You know why. It's my business, my job. It's done all right for the both of us. 
الله ما رمى الكافر اليوم fired from a gun. Somebody used a slingshot. Greta, why did you open that window today when it wasn't hot? I told you before, I was hot. The steam heated. Oh, come now, Frank, you can't believe that I was. This could just be a game to scare Eddie. Well, believe me, I'm not playing any games. You want him to quit the ring, don't you? Greta, how far would you go to get your own way? Look, I've told you my story. Obviously, you don't believe it. Well, I want to, but uh, somebody close to Eddie's trying to scare him. I just don't want it to be you. I guess in your job, you can't believe anyone, can you? Good night, Frank. Routine police work is a lot of our men moving through the city and asking questions, digging for facts. It's a machine operation built on training and experience. We were watching Eddie, Greta, and Harmon, those close to the fighter. And then we thought we had a lead in the gambling world. Okay, give me that once more, will you please? Slow and with pauses. Well, the way I get it, Mel Harmon is spreading his money around. Or do good to win. Any proof? Ah, oh, just rumbles. He isn't finding any takers. It's too much of a sure thing. Can I get a statement from anybody? Uh-uh. Well, I can't go up against Harmon without proof. Well, we tried for statements. Memories got vague. Everybody clammed up. But the smart money's switching to Verdugo. Harmon, that doesn't figure. You know, he couldn't have used a slingshot to get that bullet in Daddy's room. What are you doing? You know, any harder, I could have broken that glass. What? That bullet could have been thrown at the picture. Oh, Frank, stop it. Now, Harmon was in the kitchen. Sam would have seen him. Yeah, but would he have seen Greta? Not if she was in the bedroom. That's right, where she was. You know, I think I got an idea how this whole threatening plot was worked out. Well, can you spill? Not right now. All I can do is to watch. You know, Eddie's scared, all right, but he'll fight. Unless somebody tries to stop him in the ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? Fight night comes on with a rush, and we were in it. Now the clock was running out for Eddie, for me, for his enemy. There was lots to do and very little time to do it in. The preliminary card was nearly over by the time I got down to the dressing room. Hey, you better hurry up and get to your seat or you miss the fight. I always wait for him down here. Oh. Do you think I could watch? You don't have to believe me. I haven't seen him fight in years. Yeah. That feels about right. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Frank. Hey, everything all right? Oh, well, yeah, I just stopped by to wish you good luck. I want to tell you, I got men stationed all over the place. What are you doing? Some lady's water bottle. Never take no chances. What are you doing? Never take no chances. Got your money on Eddie? All I can afford. Once he gets in the ring, he'll fight. Hey, that's us. Well, all ready for you, Eddie boy. Okay, Eddie. This is a big one. A big one for both of us. usually do, with the two boxers feeling each other out. soon sensed what I already knew, that Eddie's mind wasn't on his work. For Eddie, there were two opponents in that ring, Jesse Verdugo and Fear. Once Verdugo realized that, the slaughter began. Thank you. 
What's on your mind anyway? Yeah, what do I hear? Very good. You kill that bottle. Oh, this ain't dope. What are you worrying about? You smuggle that bottle up to the ring. You know what's in it. You had Eddie scared into losing, but you got to be sure that he'd go down. Hmm? Oh, you got me all wrong. It's got to be you. You were close to Eddie, close enough to throw the scare into him. The notes, the candy, the bomb. And you threw the bullet at the picture. How much did you bet on Verdugo? Is Harmon mixed up in this with you? Sam. I'm talking to you and I want some answers. I only used his name to get the bet down. I didn't hurt anybody. I never had a chance for any real money. Eddie will pull out of this. Eddie was losing, but you got to make sure that he'd go down in the seventh round. That was the bet, huh? How much did you bet on Verdugo? Sam, how much did you bet? A grand. A thousand dollar bet, huh? That means you stood to make about three grand. And for that, you'd let a man get cut down and beaten senseless, huh? Cuff him. to win the championship and then retired because he couldn't give up Greta. He's running a chain of sporting goods stores now, and Sam is still in prison. Mel Harmon said that I won the fight that night, but I wasn't the man in the ring. My fight is with people like Sam, and it always will be. next week for another exciting story from the files of M-Squad.